make the intention that you're doing it for service, to serve the people. And then doors will open up for you from places that you can't even imagine. ordered a couple of chicken heroes and look at that oh my gosh look at that it's dripping What can you say about the chicken gyro? It's pretty good. Delicious. Look at that chai. Oh wow. Ooh. This chai is legendary. Oh. And match it with the baklava. Why did you choose this location? Interesting story. I'm a teacher. And I used to teach in the prison systems. Oh. But for a record, none of my cooking skills came from the prison system. <laughs> we wanted a restaurant that had wholesome meat, halal meat, mm -hmm. that was slaughtered according to Islamic uh, practices, but something that was completely wholesome and fresh. And, and he convinced me, he said that there isn't an option like that for us in Sacramento. There are several options for us to eat that type of wholesome ingredients mm -hmm. in the Bay Area, but yeah. nothing in Sacramento. So I want you to quit teaching. I want you to go to Sacramento and I want you to open up this restaurant. I can say without any hesitation, without any reservations, that the response mm -hmm. from the community has been overwhelming. I mean, I'm surprised. I wanted the customer to be able to see their food being made. Yeah, that's why. That's very important, to be able to see the ingredients that go into their food. Right, well, I'm looking at that, yeah. all the ingredients. And, and to be able to communicate with the people cooking their food. You're starting with really good quality meats, mm. fresh veggies. Right. If you look in the back, you can see the guys prepping all the veggies right now. We mm. make sauces and everything fresh yeah. from scratch. Why should people come to Falafel Corner? A couple of reasons I can think of right off the bat. One, I think most importantly, if you want to feel like you're at home with people that care about your food and about you as a person. And those are very two very important things. I want to go somewhere where, one, the people know my name. You know, I'm not a number. Being somewhere where the people know you yeah. and can relate to you and give you that level of decency and respect that you as a human being deserve. What's Palapal Corner's specialty? Oh my God. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm laughing when I sh because you'll know why I'm laughing. Falafel Corner has two specialties, right? Mm -hmm. One oh, is the falafel. So our falafel is made from scratch, completely made from scratch, which is, the falafel is ground uh, garbanzo beans with veggies and, so our falafel is phenomenal. It's completely vegan and vegetarian, right? Our second specialty is the exact opposite. It's a big monster burger oozing with cheese and bacon and meat. This is our specialty along with the little falafel which is a vegan meal. <laughs> what can you tell people who are starting their own businesses and trying to build something from ground up? Regardless of what type of business that a person gets into, mm -hmm. I would say first and foremost, before you look at the money, before you look at the logistics, first and foremost, 
a person should check his motivation. What is my motive here? Is my motive to provide a service or is my motive to get rich? The intention that forms that motivation, that right there will determine whether you're going to spend 16 to 18 hours a day in this business or you'll clock out after eight. Whether you're going to give 100% of your effort or 120% of your effort. The driving force will be that intention, that intention that formed your motivation for doing what you did. I think going back, if my intention for opening this business was solely monetary and nothing else, I would have quit a long time ago. Because in opening this business, I had so many stumbling blocks. Financial stumbling blocks, legal stumbling blocks. I don't have to tell you, you have to deal with nine different state, local, and federal agencies when you're opening a brand new restaurant. And they will give you so many reasons to quit, to, to, to throw in your hand and walk away. If my motivation was simply, I want to make a quick buck then I would have done the logical thing. And the logical thing would have been, well, look, I'm going to stop the bleeding at this point and not waste any more money or time and move on to the next venture. But that wasn't my intention. My intention was for something else. My intention was for service. It was for a higher calling. So therefore, I was like, no, I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to do everything in my power to uh, stick it out and see this through. Whatever business a person wants to get into, whatever profession that they want to get into, it, they have to actually look at their intentions for doing it. And the intention is the root. It is the root, man. The, the, the intention is the root. And if your intention is correct, and always go back to the intention. Like When things get tough, you have to sit back and say, yeah, I understand it's tough, but I'm doing it for a greater good. It's for a greater good. I can't give up now. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button below, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe because I post new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching!